Hi everyone, this is Dr. James Dinical Antonio, author of The Immunity Fix, and today I wanted to talk about hidden viruses and their potential consequences later on in life. So many of us don't realize that we're actually infected with numerous viruses throughout um, you know, our life. And for example, uh, over 90% of us are actually infected with something called Epstein-Barr virus, which can lead to mononucleosis. So you may have remembered that in high school, if you develop mono, that is actually due to a virus, a herpes virus called um, Epstein-Barr virus. And later in life, if you have a poor immune system, it can actually manifest as lymphoma. So essentially, Epstein-Barr virus increases the risk of lymphoma dramatically. And it seems to be really due to the reduction in our immune system as we age um, that allows sort of this uh, virus to increase the risk of things like lymphoma. There are other hidden viruses too that essentially can come out later in life. Chickenpox, for example. We get chickenpox, we think we're rid of it, but it ends up being dormant in our nerve uh, cells and in our nerves, and it can actually come out later in life as shingles. So there, I mean, there are other, this isn't the only hidden virus. Um, HPV, for example, over 75% of us have been infected with HPV and HPV causes numerous cancers. So HPV causes over 90% of all cervical cancer, which is the fourth leading cause of death from cancer in women globally. Uh, most anal, penile, vaginal cancers are due to HPV. Most oropharyngeal cancers, so cancers uh, uh, in the back third of the tongue, the, um, the tonsils, and the back of the throat, 50 to 70% of those types of cancers are due to HPV. So we need to think about these hidden viruses and our own immune system. If it's not healthy, then these things can manifest and potentially kill us later in life. So is there anything that potentially may help? Well, we don't know for sure, but I wanted to talk about some of the clinical studies with something called medicinal mushrooms. So medicinal mushrooms have been approved in Japan and China for over 30 years as an adjunct to cancer therapies. Um, they have hundreds of years of use in Asian cultures for helping with things like uh, cancer and, and stuff like that. Again, these, these things are approved in Japan and China as adjuncts to cancer uh, treatments. So there are a lot of clinical studies looking at medicinal mushrooms. And in fact, there are studies looking at medicinal mushrooms and the clearance of HPV. So again, if over three, quarter of us, three quarters of us are exposed to HPV, and HPV can cause numerous types of cancers, it would be a good thing to make sure that we clear this virus. Not everyone does. And there's a lot of debate on if you clear it, meaning you don't test, you don't see any virus in the blood, usually it's still dormant in some part of the body. And so that's that hasn't really been talked about a lot in mainstream media, but clearing a virus in the blood does not mean that it is out of your body for good and it can't resurface. So, there were two clinical studies looking at an extract of shiitake mushroom. Essentially, these were, you know, in about 10 individuals, uh, two clinical studies apiece. One tested three grams and another tested one gram. And in these high risk HPV people, the three gram dose uh, after about seven months, about two thirds of them cleared this high risk HPV. And then the one gram dose after about seven months, about 44% of those people cleared this high risk HPV. So these two uh, pilot studies suggest that medicinal mushrooms may have benefit in clearing high-risk HPV infection. Now, a third clinical study was done compared to control, and this time uh, it wasn't uh, previously, this was an extract of shiitake. This time, this was actually a fruit, fruiting body powder of both reishi um, and turkey tail. So when you have a mushroom, the fruiting body is the stem, the cap of the mushroom, and then the gills underneath the cap. That's the fruiting body. The mycelia, which are like the roots of the mushrooms, are beneath the surface. And really both parts have antiviral effects. So really getting like a whole, uh, a whole mushroom powder that contains both fruiting body and mycelia probably will be even more effective. But this study, it, they looked at over 400 people with gingivitis. They tested them for HPV doing like an oral swab. 
And 13% of these people with gingivitis uh, tested positive for HPV. So they took this group, they compared it to control, or they gave them these fruiting body uh, powders uh, combining reishi and turkey tail. And after just two months, and this was a 400 milligram dose per day, it was 200 milligrams twice a day. So a total of 400 milligrams of this medicinal mushroom combo compared to a control. And after just two months, 88% of these people uh, tested negative for HPV, but only 5% in the control tested negative after two months. So this was a third compelling study um, suggesting that medicinal mushrooms may help clear uh, HPV virus. Now I can't say this definitively works. I'm just literally telling you what the clinical studies showed. But how we think this may work is there's these receptors that alpha glucans and beta glucans, which are part of medicinal mushrooms, can activate. And so these uh, pathogen associated receptors help to activate the immune system and increase surveillance, increase natural killer cell number and cytotoxicity and lymphocytes. And essentially it puts your immune system more on higher alert and, and boosts the immune system from a number standpoint and from their ability to kill pathogens. And it's through sort of mimicking an actual infection. So you don't have an infection, but your immune system sort of thinks it does because it sort of digests the beta glucans and the alpha glucans contained in medicinal mushrooms. And that signals to the immune system there may be an infection. And so our immune system is, there's this really um, tight knit correlation between immunity and its antiviral effects, but also cancer, uh, anti-cancer benefits because natural killer cells and, and selective uh, CD8 T cells can help uh, basically target precancers or cancer cells for their um, death, apoptosis it's called. So we use our immune system to suppress precancerous cells that are forming um, in the body. And so by taking things that help boost the immune system or support the immune system, there's this connection between not only better antiviral effects and how you handle a virus, but also cancers. And medicinal mushrooms have been tested in animal studies as well, where you, you give these medicinal mushrooms and then you give them like a lethal influenza and the animals that get the medicinal mushrooms have a much lower mortality and lung pathology and things like that. Uh, and also even in uh, cancer studies too, like high risk, they'll, they'll infect um, animals with uh, human cervical cancer that's positive for HPV and giving the medicinal mushrooms to uh, these animals will help clear the HPV. So we have animal studies. There's also in vitro studies showing their anti-cancer potential as well. And uh, human clinical studies showing that medicinal mushrooms may help clear HPV. So I have uh, about two years ago developed uh, like chronic mucus and uh, allergies. And taking medicinal mushrooms three times a day has helped 80 to 90% my allergies my mucus in my throat, and it's something I, I constantly struggle with, but, but taking these mushrooms has been probably the number one thing that has helped um, my own immune system against the allergies. So just thought I would share some clinical data with you guys and a little personal anecdote for myself. I hope you enjoyed the video.